Hello there, Shane from True Car Manufacturing here. Sitting here working on a 3D printed tool. Some PETG, carbon fiber, and uh, kind of new to the industry with this stuff. You know, it's something that's not been done too much, as from I know. Um, and uh, this particular part was a rush job for the airlines. We had one week to build a tool which was a draw of 063-6061-T6, didn't want to do two, T0, because we didn't have time or money into it. And, uh, you know, I love stuff like this, the prototypes, the one-offs, the one where it's challenging. You know, I have a, kind of a saying here, we don't do the circles and squares, traditional sheet metal flat shapes that we're get, forming into with some flanges, one inch, you know, butter jobs, those are boring. Got some smart people here, and uh, we like to be challenged, and we like to be um, using our experience and our knowledge to create non-traditional forms. Um, we do that utilizing uh, our press brakes, 100 ton, four access. We got 3D printers that you can see right here. Um, it's a stacker machine built in America. Nice 10 gauge steel, um, solid, well designed, um, great uh, uh, software, and. You know, having nice machines is great, but they're all a bunch of paperweights if you are not having smart people run them. Those are the key to your shop's success. Um, you could buy all the equipment in the world, and you could, you know, buy the AI machines that are going to form your parts and pick them and do all that fun stuff. And then, you know what? In production and with you know simpler jobs, heck yeah. Um, you know, it's getting even better with machine learning. And every day there's a new and advancement, but we're getting to where people want to also be more unique. And um, that will trickle down to how they purchase, and maybe when people are going to want something that's been made a billion times. So, we, you know, here it is at our shop. We don't want to be making parts that we're making a billion at a time. We do still have those jobs. There's some of them are bread and butter, some of them. You know, we've had for 45 years, 47 years is the longest, has my grandfather's name stamped into the die. It has my dad's name stamped into the die, and it has my name stamped into the die. 47-year-old tool that runs just like the day we put it in. And I like to think of it as those are well-designed components by our customer. They are a competitive price that last a lifetime, literally, then some. And if you're in business, we're in business. And the money's not great in this, in this industry. You know, 25% margins, um, you know, little thing goes wrong, it holds up production and people are mad at you and every day, you know, you wake up to some emails of not some happy campers. But we have customers for 47 years. There's got to be some happy campers, people who understand the business and aren't waiting to the last moment to purchase items. You know, it's a uh, it's a tough world out there in every industry, and um, people are always taking things to the wire. But I love this job. I love making items that are unique, that are difficult. This job right here, we had a week to design and make components. There is a run, there's a draw in it. You can see the draw form right there. There is, um, it's, uh, uh, they wanted to do it out of, you know, T0 and, you know, that didn't, that seemed too easy. Why do it out of something that you're going to have to add a couple processes on and it's just way too, it's doable. We do do it and see, so we got our die right here. With this form die, we are skipping CNC machining. This form die took me overnight, so designed it, overnight came back in the morning, boom. It's not that hard to do. Just need a printer, like the one I got right here. Or maybe another one, or maybe another one that's bigger, which is getting fixed right now. Something going on with the extruder, and uh, to extrude, you need to extrude. So I'm uh, sorting that out, but when you're in a shop for 30 years and you gotta fix machines to keep production going, it's just another wire or another rail with switches. 
software now, that's not, you know, that's a little more difficult. I'm not a back-end guy, but working on that. So, uh, you know, interesting job I have here. I, I love every minute of it. I'm not a big fan of the HR, but what an interesting, tr what an interesting trade. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for almost anything in the world. I do it for free if I didn't have kids. This is my hobby that I get to work on every day. And uh, if anything out of these videos that I'm going to start doing here more frequently, I hope that maybe some of the stuff that I've gone through or something I'm doing at the moment, um, we all can learn on and share experiences. And business is competitive, you know, and uh, we're always, you know, getting quotes from three different people, make sure we have the best price we have. We want to be best price, maybe not the cheapest or the most expensive, but right in the middle. And you got to do that to survive, but we shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting the bigger picture overseas. They're kicking our butt and they continue to kick our butt. we got to grab that work back. And we got to do a pronto because we're losing the best of us. The dinosaurs are going bye-bye. The tribal knowledge is going bye-bye. Our workforce is less interested in the blue collar. And that's got to change ASAP. Shane Krukop here, True Part Manufacturing. We're going to change that. Day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, and second by second. Put that in your thoughts. Talk to you later. Out.